thank you for joining me today and coming to watch this YouTube tutorial how to waterproof your labels. Um, I purchased glossy waterproof labels. I printed my labels, put it on my products and they smudged. Why? Because I do not have a laser printer. I have an inkjet pr printer, inkjet. So if you're going to be wa purchasing waterproof labels, please make sure you have a laser printer or purchase waterproof labels for an inkjet printer. Um, I decided to do this tutorial because I had to, um, you know, do some research and figure out how I can fix this. There has to be a way. And I came across the information in one of my Facebook groups um, and not very many videos I didn't see very many videos on it that were really you know direct and to the point so I said let me go ahead and do my own um, this is my front door <laughs> um, little entrance and I went ahead and lined it with a trash bag unfortunately I don't have a bigger trash bag and I didn't want to waste like four of them to cover the entire space so hopefully I do not get spray paint everywhere I went ahead and taped down the um, labels I would be doing this outside but it snowed and there is no dry space to do it at so you'll need your tape trash bag or something to put the labels on tape them down so they won't fly everywhere when you're spray painting it and of course you're gonna need to go ahead and head out to Michaels join fabric I mean even Walmart your hardware store any store that sells spray paint and you're going to get um, painters touch Two times ultra cover gloss clear by rust oleum I wish I found it in a smaller can because I don't think I really need this big of a can but um, I guess I'll have it for future use you know and you're gonna shake your can And what you're going to do is, let me see if I can pop this open. You're going to, I think that's enough. I shook it some before I started recording. You're gonna spray paint your labels and even coats. And you're going to spray paint it three times, but you will be waiting five minutes in between each spray. At least that's what I heard. But we're gonna test this out. <clears throat> Let's see. Wish me luck. Okay. All right, that's round one. And I'm going to pause it here and we will be back for round two and three. All right, so we're back for part two. I mean, it's very repetitive because you're doing the same thing. All you're doing is spray painting it. Don't mind the screaming kids in the back. I opened my patio door because even though <laughs> for me, these. The spray paint smells good, but it's just, you know, they're fumes. And I don't need to be exposed to all of that. Alright, so round two. Let's see, I'm gonna do it a little further up. There we go. And I'm just spray painting, spray painting it in circles going clockwise around it. That's round two. Now I'm going to set my timer and then we'll come back for round three. 
All right, guys, last step. Repetitive, right? I'm gonna do it one more time, then we'll let it dry again for five minutes. And then I'll be back to test them out to see if they are waterproof. We'll put it on a lip balm and see if any smudges happen. Okay. <clears throat> we'll be back. Or I'll be back. All right, so we're all set. Let's go ahead and take a look. Those are my lip balm labels. <clears throat> Where do I put you? I think there would be good. <clears throat> Let's see, I have a bubble gum label. I mean, lip balm that I can label for you. Let's see which one. Bubble gum, bubble gum, bubble gum. Bubble gum is over here. hope it turns out good. Okay, so let's see. I have my camera backwards so I can't really see. There we go. It doesn't feel glossy and smooth it feels a little satinish yeah but let's see as long as it it looks glossy there's a shine to it let me turn this way sorry guys okay so there you go this is the lip balm camera zooming in and out all right I'm going to bring it a little close to get to me so I can see because y'all know I wear glasses so I am blind I just want to line it up properly and then I'll put it back on camera boom I think that works I'm good at labeling and getting everything centered because I have OCT but with this one it's always crooked for me and you know what I'm okay with it I don't really care it's a small business there's gonna be a little bit of imperfection I think it adds you know the personal touch to it they know it's not a computer or a machine rolling these and getting it labeled look at that it actually ended up lining up pretty nicely and it's not smudging you guys look I'm so excited okay so company name my signature little black kiss bubble gum it has the ingredients the size the direction of where it's made or address of the manufacturing location which is from home um but i do put my p.o box on there instead i don't know maybe it, i don't know i don't feel comfortable putting my actual address on it but boom break seal and then you would twist it I'm so excited you guys yes this is what we want we don't want any bleeding or anything like that okay thank you so much for watching let's go ahead and get a close-up of the labels They're in every direction. There we go. 
I'm so excited. This one, I only have one. I have to print more. But this right here, this works, you guys. It's the truth. So this little do-it-yourself hack is a yes. It's been approved. It passes. Let's put a green check in there somewhere. Mythbusters. This myth has not been busted. Because <laughs> it's real. All right, you guys. Well, that's it. This is a very quick video. Thank you so much for tuning in and for watching. I hope you guys like it. I found it helpful and useful. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, all of that good stuff. And I'll catch you on the next one. Toodles.